Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brothers and sisters of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the title of this message is God is not limited by your limitation. Hallelujah. God is not limited by your limitation. Hallelujah. And the scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of Job, chapter 36, verses 23. Or probably you can read Job, chapter 36, verse 23, all the way to 33. If you have a chance, Job, chapter 36, verse 23 to 33. But today, because of time factor, I'm going to be reading Job, chapter 36, verses 23. Hallelujah, and I read. No one can tell God what to do or accuse him of doing evil. Job chapter 36, verse 23. No one can tell God what to do. God is not restricted. Or you can, you know, God is not restricted to your limitation. Or God is not restricted to your restriction. You can restrict God. You can tell God what to do. You can't. Look at this entire world today. Who made this world? No one else but God the Almighty. No one happy. So you can restrict God. To tell God, oh, uh, I want to hear this message. I don't want to hear this one. Oh God, do not, you know, let don't don't let this man to preach to me. You can limit God. God is not limited to your limitation. Or oh, God is not restricted to your restriction. Who are you, by the way? To come and tell God what to do. No one can tell God what to do. He created this universe and everything that dwells in it. Down to the devil. He created the devil. So you can't tell God what to do. You can't. You can't tell God to, what to do. Because I, according to what the Bible says, our talk and our way is not like God's ways. From the book of Isaiah 55. Verses 11. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 55, verses 8 to. You can't tell God what to do. The way we think, the way we, we, we think so in a, a narrowly, evilly. God do not think like that. God does not do evil. That what the book is telling us right there from the book of Joel, chapter in the chapter six, verses twenty-three. After you know, and Job got into his his late trial and tribulation, his friends and people around him they started questioning, inside, saying all kind of a negative stuff. And Job stood in the fences and told them, plain blank, you can tell God what to do. God knows why I'm going through the circumstances. That's why Job told them. When you're going through a problem right now in your life, there are people on the side there. They're going to cast together. They're going to say all kind of a, uh, they will give you all kind of a negative advices. They will give you all kind of an evil talk. They will tell you to go and do some evil stuff. When you're going through a trial and tribulation in your life, Give it up to Christ. And one thing, the reason why the topic today is, you know, and God is not limited to your limitation. Or he cannot be restricted to the restriction. You can't tell him to do. God is God by himself. He is almighty. Like for instance, when, when you, you cry to God, God answers you. As soon as you get everything that you need from God, then you forget ever God and you started going on enjoying your life. Then when trouble come now, then you turn to God and start getting down on your knees again. You can't push God around like a football. You can't do it. 
You can't play with. You gotta continuously. Con well, you you succeed. You you succeed or, or not continuously. When you succeed, that is the more time for you to give God the glory, for you to give Him the honor, for you to give Him the praise. God is not limited to your limitation. He is not restricted to your restriction. Don't play around God. When you when you deal with God. You should deal with him continuously. When you ask God for something, God gave it to you. Don't forget, the same God has not given it to you. You continue to continue to pray for him to protect you, for him to guide you. Hallelujah. When you pray to him after you succeeded, then you turn your back on God. Then when, when trouble hits you, then you come back to him. No, you can't push God around like a football. You can do it like that. He is God, powerful. He can see anything. He sees everything. He's all knowing, all presence, everywhere, on new presence, on new sense. He knows everything. He sees everything. You can't have nothing from God. You can go down to the deepest of this world, all the way on the ground. God will see you. He will hear what you say. You can do it to men. You can hide from men. You can lie to men. You can push men around and give them all kind of a story, lie story, but you can't lie to God. You can't. No one. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, there is a reason why God is giving the message. There are some people in my family, my friends, I tell you, you better get, you better turn around. Repent of your attitude. Change your ways and turn to God. There are some people today that have been going to church for January to December. Church cover. But they, are, they do not have God's salvation. They are not born again. You know the story about Nicodemus? Nicodemus told Jesus Christ, oh, you mean that I should go in back into my mother's womb to be born again? Jesus Christ said, no. You got to be born again. When to be born again, you got to receive the Holy Spirit and do not go out to do evil things. Because when the Holy Spirit is in you, when you're going to go and do evil, the Holy Spirit is going to remind you, don't do that. You gotta be a born again, born again Christian. Hallelujah! Not Christian who today, when when they 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 they, they, they limit God, they overlook God, they overlook God. They're gonna be in the church, then go to the 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 the, the voodoo man. They're gonna be in the church, then go to the 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 voodoo woman. Are you kidding me? What, 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 what is going on? You can't play with God like that. You can't treat God like that. You can't. You're just putting yourself in a hot water. You're putting yourself in a hot water with God. You can't treat God that way. Your one fault in God's house, then your other fault is in the devil house. You can't do that. One making yourself to master. You either got to serve one or the other. You can't serve both of them together. If you want to serve the devil, go and serve him. Forget about God Almighty. He is not forcing anyone to serve him. But if you want to serve him, serve him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do not forget that. Among these two commandments, the prophet of all, all the prophets, they hang on this. These two commandments. Oh, you, oh yeah, I, I heard it before. You said, it. yeah. The word of God is a continuing process. According to the book of Luke chapter 1, verses 37. The word of God will never fail. According to the King James Version. Then if you look to the, the ESV Version, there is nothing that is impossible for God. 
Hallelujah. There is nothing that is impossible for God. You remember the story? When God told the prophet according to the book of the, the God told the angel according to the book of Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. He told the angel to go and tell Sarah that, oh Sarah, although she, she was 90 years old, go and tell Sarah that she's gonna have a child. When the when the angel went and told her, they, they, they came down. When the angel told her that, she started laughing. She said, Oh, I'm all wear up. You know, my body all you know, all a rigor up. And you tell me now I'm going to have a child? She started like, ha, ha, ha. So the, the angel, after they got through doing what they sort of do, they went by the hall. They said, did you laugh about what we were just telling you? Let me read it. Genesis chapter 18 verse 14. Let me read. Is anything too hard for God? Or is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you about this time next year, and Sarah shall have a son. Hallelujah. So before the prophet went and told the, the angel went and told Sarah that she's gonna have a child, she, she started making fun, she was laughing, thinking that the word of God will go out and come back for. No. The word of God did not go out and come back for everything that God used the prophet or the angel to say, it will be accomplished. It will be accomplished. Isaiah 55, verse 8. So let me tell you right now. Brothers and sisters of this world, stop playing around. You see what is going around you right now, all over the world. What is going on? It's a reminder that you people walk over the world should wake up and put on your thinking cap, serving the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Because the end time is drawing closer, nearer, every day. Wake up! And let me go to the next scripture read. The next scripture reading is going to be from the book of Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 27. And let me read. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? You see, God told Jeremiah, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? There is nothing that is hard for God. Or for man, Oh, you can, you, you should, let me remind you right now. Never you, in your life, limit God. God is not in, limited to your limitation. God is not restricted to your ideology or your, uh, your philosophy, no idea. God is God by himself. He made the world and everything that dwells in it. Lead us. Who kings, queens, president all over the world? God is the one that instituted. He put them in the power. He ordained them to be in the power. Whatever they do, they're gonna face the consequence on the day of judgment. Don't worry about that. Hallelujah. But let me tell you right now: do not limit God. Do not think that whatever God say will not happen. Everything that God said will happen. There is nothing that is impossible for God. Let me tell you right now. My brother and sister, right now, put on your thinking cap. Get zealous, courageous, energetic, enthusiastic about the things of God. Because the end time is drawing nearer. Thank God for this message. And I will come back with another one as the Holy Spirit leads. Let us pray. Come and Lord, I thank you for everything. I thank you for your word. You are the one who gave it to me. I bless you. And may you help these people all oh, cleanse their heart that they will receive this word for your need to be glorified. Bless them that you should partake about their understanding. Whatever they want to do, you have their help. Father, 
I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.